Welcome back, everybody. I am Chris. This is Mike. This is Seven Minutes for Seniors. This is our third segment. So like I said in the last segment, it kind of goes downhill from here. I give you a chance for your, for your elevator pitch. Uh, so the idea behind this is to really show the personality behind the people that we refer to. Uh, I think that. you know that I love you. You're a great guy. Uh, Thank we've you. been we've been uh, in BNI together and friends for quite a while. Yeah. So since you, you know, started, yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, I came to the meeting to meet you. <laughs> I did, I did, and I told you that I was like, I'm here to meet you. You're, you know, because I was just getting my feet wet in in this realm of what I was doing. So I was like, you know, what better than the president of the chapter being the person that's probably <laughs> going to be my best referral source. Right. So you know, so I, I want people to see you know the personality behind the people that we refer to, not just the fact that the people that we refer to are really good at what they do. I don't refer any slackers. That's right. So, um, so this is where we we get on the bobsled together. Um, what hobbies do you have? Oh gosh, I have a lot of hobbies, and I am the type of person who, and at least I can admit it now, but I pick up hobbies and then drop them. Oh, really? <laughs> Some of them stick with me for a long time, right. but but like I'm interested in things for a little while and then I lose like interest. Squirrel. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Actually, squirrels was one of those hobbies. <laughs> one of those hobbies. Yeah. So, like flying squirrels? Yeah. I, I used to have flying squirrels. Um, yeah. So uh, 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 most people in the industry know uh, this about me, but um, I was the president of uh, the Wildlife Rescue Coalition of Northeast Florida for a couple of years. Okay. And so um, that was an organization that rescued uh, injured and orphaned wildlife mm -hmm. and then rehabilitated them back to release. So, mm -hmm. so during COVID, I was their president. Oh wow! Um, yeah, and uh, and I that I would still love to do. One mm -hmm. day, my retirement plan is to hopefully have like a nice farm that just you know makes enough money to break even. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and just have and just, animals and just have animals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big There's animal a three legged. Dog. There's Whatever. a three. <laughs> yeah, well, Renegade, our dog here. Uh, you know, he uh, he was almost a three legged dog. Okay. He's, He's the most expensive rescue I've ever had because he uh, had a full hip replacement. Oh wow! Um, yep. So uh, you he's know. good at playing keep away when I he's, walked in. So. He's very strong. He's, he's strong. very agile. Yeah, he was. He was <laughs> going to be too strong with three legs. Is my joke. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so so wildlife rescue, I'm really big on. I, I still try to help support um, a lot of nonprofits that do animal rescue of different types. Um, I do some of the stuff for the Humane Society still. Um, I love anything outdoors. You know, uh, uh, I live here in, in Mandarin. I'm like a mile away from Wasco Park. So mm -hmm. going and doing the 5K in Wasco, uh, the dog and I love that. Um, you will see it probably by the time we are done. But um, on the pond out here by the house, there are probably 30 Canada geese that will come up and uh, get fed. You can have as many of them as you yeah, want. We I, have 50 of them on the golf course. I just attract have. them from all over the place. <laughs> yeah. So so I don't mind the Canada geese and the ducks. And um, and uh, we have a lot of herons and everything. So, um, oh, and there goes Ren. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got a chance yeah. to get it away from him. <laughs> we'll have to get him on camera too. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just, I love anything outdoors. I still like to fish a lot. And, yeah. um, and Michelle loves the beach so we've been going to the beach like every other oh, nice. weekend now yeah 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 just in time for it to be 100 degrees out and, exactly i'm working on my tan melt your face off. <laughs> yeah do you get tan i i used to get tan i'm still testing it out i'm worried i'm i've actually got a dermatology appointment my uh my granddad's spirit is speaking to me saying uh you know you, uh, you might be getting skin cancer yeah. instead of a tan but <laughs> yeah 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 I'm at, I'm at that age now where it's a yearly thing yeah exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, okay. So then dude, I almost literally stopped in the middle of the highway the other day because there was a turtle. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it still hurts me. Like I'm thinking about that turtle going, Oh no. Oh no. When do I, you know, like if they could think that's probably what they're thinking. Yeah. Right. Like it, it just like that kind of stuff just, uh, I, but I've, I've, I've nearly killed myself trying to rescue animals from the middle of the road before. I the highway i've learned i can't do it you can't like you can't stop traffic yeah. uh for on on 95 i've tried it for sure um but uh yeah any any other main road like yeah. like san jose a couple of weeks ago there was a um possum mm. that was trying to cross the road during the day yeah Stopped in the middle of San Jose, have to go pick up the, <laughs> possum, the possum, and right? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't playing possum. That's right. No, he was running. We were, I'm just going to escort him across the road. <laughs> so, besides the, the the love of animals and yeah. the, everything, the the animal rescue, 
What, something surprising about you. Something surprising mm-hmm. about me. I think, so an old hobby I used to have before I got into senior care, we bred uh, snakes. We took care of and bred uh, uh uh, different types of pythons and things like that. that there's a fun fact. Nobody wants to know. <laughs> uh, uh, you could say snakes, spiders. Like, yeah. like I just can't. I can't. I can't. Nope. Yeah. And then mm. I guess an, I, I, it wasn't all that interesting growing up, but I guess now, nowadays it is. I was actually born and raised in Jacksonville, grew up in Arlington. Mm-hmm. My whole family's from here. So, so I, I am native. a true local yeah. native. Yeah. yeah, he's been drinking the water. <laughs> That's right. So I will tell you, when it comes to snakes, I never had a problem with snakes because I grew up in Pennsylvania. So there's like, there's one snake that's going to kill you. It's a timber rattler. You're yeah. going to find a timber rattler hanging around timber. They look like a shovel. They look like if they bite you, they're, you're going to die. Yes. Every other snake in Pennsylvania doesn't look like a timber They're rattler. They're all safe. They're like, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're not going to bite you. We're not going to hurt you. You know, if we do bite you, like even on uh, Dirty Jobs, when Mike Rowe is getting this, the black snakes out of Lake mm-hmm. Erie, right? They have teeth, but they have like human teeth. So they just like make it, but they don't hurt you. Right? That's right. Yeah. Well, it hurts, but they don't kill you. Yeah. I moved down here and there's fake, like, like the, the, some of the, some of the happy snakes that you think are like, but then they're the ones that'll kill you. And then there's other ones that dress up like the ones that'll kill you. So you have no idea what, oh. you know, like the, 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 the colored ones that have the bands on them. Yes. The right? coral, coral snakes. And I've got to remember, I've got to remember while I'm running away, whether, <laughs> you know, what the, what the rhyme is. Right? If red touches yellow, dead fellow yeah. is, is, so, is too hard to yeah, remember when I, you're yeah, scared. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. So that's my only problem with Florida is because all of the snakes are, are in disguise. I will tell you a good, um, piece of advice when it comes to that. I mean, Mm -hmm. obviously, you know, if you're not comfortable with relocating and touching it, don't touch the the, any wildlife. It's going to move on. Yeah, it's going to move away. But if it is dangerous, it will typically stand its ground. Rattlesnakes, I mean, uh, pygmy rattlesnakes are probably the only exception, but most, um, you know, rattlesnakes of any kind, water moccasins, all of those things, They're gonna stand they will stand their ground and they will look scary because they are scary. Yeah, everybody else is trying to get Pretty away much everything else is going to threaten you real quick to make you think it's it's yeah. dangerous and then they're going to head go. off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to keep that in mind. Yeah. So that concludes snake talk. <laughs> the snake cast. <laughs> he thought we were going to talk about modifying seven, your home. Seven minutes for snakes. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> That's going to finish our third segment. I'm Chris. This is Mike. Seven minutes for seniors. We'll see you in a bit.